Hello my dear friends, welcome back to a new podcast of Growing in Grace. This is your pastor Yeti. You can trust him. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your paths straight. Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 to 6. These words are so strong, so real. If you put them in your life, memorize it and it will come back to you. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your paths straight. I encourage you to write these words down. Hang it somewhere where you can see it daily or memorize it because we need it. Trust is a matter of the heart. The word literally means to place confidence, to commit or place in one's care or keeping, to rely on the truthfulness or accuracy of. Trust is the key in our relationship with God. Trust opens the door to God's will and growing in our potential in the kingdom. The question is, can I really trust God in every circumstance I face? The answer is resounding yes, we can trust him because he cares, his care is constant. He has given us a word we can stand on. Keep your lives free from the love of money and be content with what you have because God has said, never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. So we say with confidence, the Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? Maybe you have to find this verse in your Bible and write it down and put it somewhere. Hebrews 13, the verses 5 to 6. We can trust him in the bad times. All of us are going to have bad times, bad days, and difficulties. The question is not if they come, but when. The psalmist declared, in God whose word I praise, in God I trust and am not afraid, and I am not afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? Psalm 56 verse 4. We can absolutely trust him in times of adversity because the Lord is with me. I will not be afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? Psalm 118 verse 6. Not only can we trust him in the bad times, but also in the good times. We have a tendency to run to him when things are going bad and seem to forget him when things are good. The extent to which we thank God for the blessings he provides as an indicator of our trust level. May it never be said of us that we trust more in God's instruments of provision rather than in God himself. In the words of the late great preacher S. M. Lockridge, you can search him up, he can satisfy all your needs and he can do it simultaneously. He supplies strength for the weak and is available for the tempted and the tried. He sympathizes and sees. He guards and he guides. He healed the sick and cleansed the leper. He defends the feeble and blesses the young. He regards the age he rewards the diligent and he beautifies 
the meek. He tells you, church, you can trust him. Let's pray. Father, today we choose to trust you. No question asked. Amen. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and don't lean not on your own understanding. Give it all to God and trust Him. Have a wonderful day, a weekend ahead. Enjoy it. May God bless you. Bye-bye. This is your Pastor Eddie.